<laughs> hey people, Broken Puppet back again with another video for today. This one is how to draw an Oriental Star Phoenix. It's a touch bit more advanced than the usual ones, but I'm sure you're about to get for it. And that uh, took you through the works as usual line work, colouring, shading, blah 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 blah. You guys get it. So yeah, enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Okay, people, how to draw an Oriental style phoenix? And that uh, this one's a bit more advanced than like some of the other tutorials, you know, because uh, the phoenix is a lot more free flowing. And, um, what I mean by that is, as where a lot of the other designs, you can get like a set structure. You know, the phoenix is so many variants and so many variables to what makes it look the way it looks. So what I'm gonna teach you is just a bunch of different sort of different bits to give you an idea of how to create it. And now the key thing I think at first is just getting a good body flow shape. And then what I mean by this is the general direction of the body. You want to get like a nice line. You don't want like a scribble, you know, like overlapping lines. You want a nice smooth flow from the head going down the body to where the tails will be. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to have it go like that. Now I know at the moment it doesn't make sense, so I'm going to sort of make it a bit more make make a bit more sense rather. So up here, just do a circle, just plot like a basic circle. And that, let me hit this up a little bit so you can see a bit better. There we go. And that, do a little triangle shape on top, just at the front. Now you, know, you don't want it overly big, so if you imagine this is like the whole sort of body size, the head is relatively small. The main thing will be the decoration kind of around the head. And that, now from here, you want to do almost like a big teardrop. And that, so. Coming back and slightly wide like that. So you see, it starts off thinner, it gets thicker following that line. Now that is going to be the basic body shape. That's where the body is going to go. And I know you're not going to seal all this because the wing is going to take up, you know, quite a bit of this. But you basically want to get that rough sort of shape. And now I'm going to do one here. Now this is going to be the base of where one of the legs will come. I'm going to have one of the legs coming like here. Now the other one will be here, but we won't see too much of that, so I don't need to sketch that in just yet. Now the wings, I want the wings flowing with the body shape. So this one is going to come up here and come down that way. And this one is going to come up a bit around and come there. So you see there's a nice kind of flow shape to it. And that now this bit here would just be like where the tails go, and that so you'll have all this like you know mad detail bits here. Now, but for the moment, this is the main structure of it. Now, what I will do quickly, because this is quite you know in detail, I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to show you up close how to do the face roughly. Let's stay like that. So, if you imagine. We had that circle shape and that triangle shape, right? So what you want, I'll go straight into pen actually so you can see this in good detail. I like to start off generally with the eye. And now this one I'm going to make quite feminine, so I'm going to bring the eye curving like this a bit. With a nice flick at the end. And that, that coming in quite a bit further in. Curving up around like that. And now you can make this curve as steep or as shallow as you want. It doesn't have to be that steep. And now if you imagine a pupil go somewhere around here. And that what that's do is little detail bits. So nice little easy simple one. Just bring like a semicircle shape and just keep doing little shapes around the eye bit. Now on top of the eye, I like to do a similar thing. So follow that eye bit around. it around like that, maybe a little detail line around there, and that, you know, bring them a sort of nice sort of pupil and that make it nice and sparkly. And that, and then when you've got the, uh, the beak, best way to put the beak, draw the mouth bit first, so bring like a curve like this, bring the line back, curve this up. Around there, 
I like to bring in a line, comes down here like a teardrop. Connecting that up. Bring the mouth around the edge. Make a bit of detail bits around it. On top of the nose bit here, I'll bring this up, bring this around. And to do this almost like a little detail bit, it's kind of hard to describe this, it's like a little fluffy bit like that come out to, uh, to come out just above the nose. Now you don't have to do that, I just generally like to do that. And that, just bring like a little kind of nostril shape and you can do that anyhow you want. And that, bring the feathers from under the chin. Bring that bit back and that will go into the feather back, back here where I'll show you on the other page. But I mean that's a simple, that's a very very simple way of doing it. But that's just an idea of roughly how to do the face. So what I'm going to do is just sketch in a bit similar to that run anyway. So just bring that line for the eye and blur it. Little detail bits around the eye. Mouth bit. Curving down around like that. And now I'm going to switch back the pencil for a sec to show you this, to give you an idea. Now when you get to the back of the head, have like line here, you want this nice, what I, it's kind of hard to describe, it's almost like, sort of just like fur bits coming back. Now to do this I like to do a bunch of curvy lines, curving up from the head, around this way. And like that, there are a few layers. And this is what makes the head, you know, sort of take up the size. The actual face is very small, this is all the detail work around it that makes it look fancy. Now to do this, I start off around here, you know, roughly where I want the bottom one to go. So if you measure where the eye goes, bring the line back here, curve it up into a little spiral shape, stop, bring the line back. And you want to repeat that process going all the way around here, make like a big layer of them. And now you've got to try to use your imagination because they're going to overlap. So you don't want to go over the lines, but you want to carry the line as if it was going through the one below it, like see here. This one goes around it, behind it. Behind it. But I just follow that line where I think it will go afterwards. You can sketch out a pencil. Pencil sometimes gives you a better idea of roughly where that line's going to go. You can just draw straight through the pencil and do the pen. Don't do the lines that overlap. The only reason I'm going straight into pen is so it's clear for you to see, and I've done this plenty of times, so I know how to do phoenixes. Now I'm going to do a second layer. Now the second layer is going to be fairly similar, except I'm going to do a little overlap bit. Where as it gets to the end, it turns into like a teardrop. Now you see, bring back, go like that, you curve back, and then you bring a line halfway through, going backwards. It makes it look like the feather bends over on itself. I'm just going to repeat that process, going around here. So I'm basically making like two layers of these. Keep bringing these all the way around. Now you can do as many layers of these as you want. And now I'm going to do uh, one more layer just underneath. Then I'll go on to the next bit.
So there you go, you see, so I've got three layers of them coming off the head. Now you can do like a little bit of detail around the chin there, but I like the uh, chin bit to be fairly simple. So just bring back a few little lines just like that. And now you've got this kind of almost kind of like hair, you know, like, you know, like a wavy kind of uh, bunch of lines. I'll show you what I mean. And now I'm going to have them flowing this way. And now, now what I mean by this is going to bring this line around the body front bit here, from the neck around the chest. And we're going to have these like hair bits flowing back, these lines, all the way across here. And that. There'll be a few here, but you're not going to really see too many of these because these are going to be on the other side of the body. So if you imagine almost from where the chest is, and now you don't have to do this, it's just a little detail bit I like. You know, a lot of like you know people do sort of things is like you know really well tend to do this. It's just like it's a nice little detail rather than doing the body plane. Now what I mean, I'll show you. I'm going to bring this line out, see so like that, and then bring the line coming back just a little bit wider. So you're making like big long V's, you know, basically, and just keep layering them up, going roughly the same way. They just bring that line around the front just like that and that takes care of that chest bit and I'm going to have the line come down here this is where you know the uh, back of the neck goes this is going to be smooth I'm going to put that scales in this bit I'm not going to go too far at the moment I'm just going to flick it just to there so you can see the way the body shape is going you see that nice curve and that ideally if I was doing this bigger I'd probably have the head a bit further over here and have the neck just a touch a bit longer but to try and fit it here and get everything in the video but it's slightly smaller still looks great this way but well big myself up there it looks great <laughs> yeah I think it looks good this way and that but yeah anyway get back the pencil quickly so I can sort of sketch out the uh, wings for you like I said this wing is coming out this way and that so we want this line coming out really strong down this way to this point and now you can have an outside bit of wing you know, and by that I mean just create that line and then create another line underneath if you want like a nice little detail bit. Yeah, I'll put that in for this to show you that. It's a real simple technique, but it always looks pretty nice. And that. And then we're going to have like scales coming down the body and across the wing bit. Just here. Not all the way down the wing, but generally covering this area. And that. Now to do this, just basically do like, you know, a cross hatch design. So like lines across and then lines come across the other way and then what you do every time you've got the line you can just bring a curve up like this and then a curve down make like v, you know upside down V shapes or you can do semicircles where the point starts here curves around touches that point and finishes on that one and that and now when you've got this bend you basically want the lines to kind of bend with it and that so just sketch that in roughly, just that cross hatch design. And then put in your scales. And then I'll, before I do the scales, I'll quickly do the outside line for the swing. So just that nice long curve. And then that one underneath I told you about. I'm going to do a little bit of detail here as well. I'm just going to bring in a nice little swirl here. Just little bits. It's what I quite like to do. I mean, you don't have to do this, it's just an extra little bit of detail. And just bring this line down, draw that around, and come to a point. See, it's just simple like that. And now I'm going to put in those scales. And now you might want to sketch these out in pencil first, like I said, you know, with the cross edge, but I'm just going to strand to pen so you can see it more clearly.
So you see that it's got that little bit of just come down the wing. And that you know you want to come out down a fair distance, not too far down the wing. You know, you want most of it to be the feathers, but to take that little inside bit, you definitely want to do quite a few layers. And you know, you're gonna have the same sort of thing coming here on this body bit. And then on the outside the other wing. Now now we got this. Because we're doing it this way around, you know, if you're sitting inside of the wing, I do these feathers around the other way. But for this one I'm gonna do yeah, I'll do it around this way. So I'm just gonna bring in a nice big curve. See a simple long curve like that, and it's gonna repeat this going inwards. Now depending on how neat it is, how neat you want it, you can follow the line and keep it the same or make them fairly different scales. I quite like them making different sort of you know heights. To me it adds a bit more dimension to it. But for this one I'm gonna keep it quite simple. And that's so you see you got that set of lines. Now the second set I'm going to have slightly different. I like to have every set of feathers here, every layer, to be different than the one before it. And only slightly, like this one I'm going to have come to a slight more of a point. See it comes to the point now. To a point. To a point. Just like that. And then the next ones I'm gonna have quite long. So if motion come down from this edge bit, I'm gonna have them curve to a point and I'm gonna have them curve back off of that and around. These ones the further you get out the more curvy I like to make them. Next in my view like the first ones are burning up the structure. And as you get towards the end, you want to tell in the direction of the wing. So you can see, like, you know, a bit more kind of curve. Bring that there. And that one there. And uh, you can do other little detail bits, like I'll show you here. I'm just going to bring little dagger lines. in between each one of them you know if you want that little detail you can just bring like a straight line down the center of it you know there's a lot of little extra details you can do you know what I recommend you know if you're sort of a bit worried about ruining it just get a bit of tracing paper put the tracing paper over the top and you sketch in some ideas what you think might look good and if it looks good take tracing paper off and put them in afterwards and that, but if you want to try some things out you're not too sure a bit of tracing paper Draw over the top to see what it looks like first. It's always a good idea. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah. So we're going to quickly put in, like, see how we had the uh, hair bits here? I'm just going to put in a few more just around the back here. So if you imagine it wraps around the neck. See, just there. And that. Oh. Right, and then from here, right, from here, what should I do next? Yeah, I'll show you one little detail bit I'm going to put here. Just this kind of separates the wing. No, another little pattern bit. Let's bring little triangle shapes. The trick is to make anything that looks kind of feverish, you can add them in. As long as it looks feverish, you can do that. Now, that just separates the wing from the body. And that now from here. Um, I can't see the wing first or should I do the body? Wing first or body? Wing first or body? I'll sketch in the body bit first. Now the body bit is going to curve around here. It's going to come, come to a point almost here. I'm going to cut a bit shorter than what I was going to plan it. Like that did being there. And then I'll bring in these gigantic tail feather bits just here. You know, these ain't like you know the big furry bits, it's just kind of separates the bum from the body. You can do these any how you want, but it's just one way I like to do these. And that. So you're going to bring this line around here. Just curve this up to the body kind of goes under the wing bit. And that. And from here, you can have this big. A bit. 
Very similar to how we've done these uh, middle feather wings, but just a lot wider. Kind of like that. And this one's going to be a bit more free flow, it's going to come, come to a little point and curve up. Same with that one. Same with that bit. Pretty much every phoenix does this bit differently, you know, everyone does these bits their own little way. This is just one of the ways I like to do mine sometimes. Just bring a line down the middle and split it into a V as you get towards the end. Now this isn't really planned out, I'm just making this as I go up a lot, you know, as I go along. Now, sometimes that's the best way. Just play about, see what you know looks good in your heads, and put it on paper. Now I've got that, I'm just going to put in the uh, scales in the body. So I'm just going to sketch in a cross hatch. And then put in the scales. Yeah, so as you can see, I've got the scales on the body bit going around that way, and then there. And that, so once you've got that bit, you're pretty much ready to go on to the next wing bit now. And so we get a pencil. Now this wing, it's kind of hard to see like, at this point where it's going to go, but you've got to, got to imagine, it's going to start at this point, it's going to curve up, it's going to be unrealistic, it's going to get a bit further, because I want it to come out above the head bit here. You see how it's longer than this bit? But sometimes you have to break the rules to make things look the way you want them. And when it comes to Orient Star, that's perfectly fine because it's not about realism. Gonna have that one curve in there. And now this bit here, you're not going to really see, so I'm going to cut short when it gets to here. And that because you're going to have a lot of tail feathers coming out. So I'm sort of just plotting like a few little sort of shapes where it's going to curve around. You're gonna have the feet under here, and that. But I can do it up to this point. So I'm gonna bring that line around. Quite short there. Bring that secondary line. I'm just gonna bring a little bit here so I can see where it as it curves. So imagine where that line would start. Just putting that a little bit, just going around there. And that. And I'm quite picky, I like to be quite specific with the amount of scales I do on the wings. I like to be even on both sides. So and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got it. Well if, if I'm doing rows, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So roughly about nine rows. So I'm gonna do about the same amount of scales roughly. As I did on that side. So there you go. So you see, I've got roughly around the same amount of scales on that side as I have that side. Now it's going to bring in those uh, secondary feather bits. Going to have a few little scales just coming up this inside bit of the wing on the inside. The second there ones you're not going to see too much because of the feather bits. But yeah. So you can see we're slowly getting there. And now what I'm is I'm gonna put in like the uh, the feather bits at the back. Now I like these to kind of flow and overlap. So I'm gonna bring out one line here. Come into a circle ball shape at the end. Bring that line around there. Yeah, look kind of dodgy at the moment, don't worry about that. It's going to be more February. Secondary little one, it's going to kind of come around here, underneath this one. Around here. And shut more here. With 
third one is going to end there. So like I said, you see how small the head is compared to the rest of the body. You don't want the head to be too big. You know, the main thing about it is the wings going around to the further bits. Now to do this, I'm going to have the first one overlapping everything just to make this easier. And I'm going to bring a line down the center of that one I drew out. Just like that. That's the center line. And now from that, get your pencil back. At this point I'm going to grab my rubber if I can find it. Just line this up a little bit because my sketching's taking up quite a, pencil sketch is taking up quite a bit of what I can see. There we go. And come back here. And now on each side of this line is like half the feather. And now if you want you can have it tore out. If you, if you want to turn the uh, tail feather, now what you do is you bring in the line up to the line. And that, on this side, you bring it, get it a touch bit further, and you bring the line underneath, and like that, and slowly coming out from this side. And you can create a twist if you want. I don't to start with, I want this to be quite flat at first. Might have a twist around that point, but. And as I got up the line, I'm going to make more feathery, so I'm going to keep having these little jaggedy bits just coming in off of it. And every now and again, breaking into the same kind of, you see the way we've done this? Every now and again. So just bringing in those lines, and then coming underneath into a straight line again, little jaggedy bits, and breaking off into that kind of feathery, hairy kind of look. So actually now we've got this tail going round to the end now. Now at this point, you can do whatever you want in this little bit here. Sometimes I like to make it into like an old school diamond, into a love heart. You know, I like to do something, like, almost like a little feature bit with this. And that's, uh, to me, it's like the most important part of the tail. It's the detail bit. You could have circles if you want, you could have an eyeball. And now for this one, I'm going to do like an old school diamond. I see uh, uh, Shiggy do this once. It look really cool. And that ever since then I've always kind of thought that's a good way to end the tail. Just basically bring in like a V shape, smaller V shape, line across, and then just bring triangles going up, down to the point, up, down to the point, up, down to the point. And line across. Boom. Old school diamond. And basically just have the feather bits curving around it. I could have little pattern bits, I'm gonna have like a little circular shape coming there. Another little circle shape on the other side of it. So just quickly sketch that in. And once you've done that, you can put other little detail bits. Like I like to put little kind of circular shapes, like dots and that, but I do that with the colour. So I'll show you that later on in the next video.
and that. But yeah, again, now we've done one feather. I'll plot out the next ones. So again, just do that line down the center. Bring this around. And that. I'll do these bits in a sec. But I'm just going to move on to the foot now, show you how to do the feet. Pretty real, quite simple. Now, at this point, you know, because of the way the wing goes, the wing covers up where the thigh would be roughly and that'd be if you imagine the thigh would go roughly here so this leg will curve around here and come here and yeah you can barely see the bottom of the feet here but show it there so I can sort of teach you properly I can just sketch it in and that bring like a semicircle Bring another one, and another one, and a little one come the other way. And now, then what you want to do is you want to thicken it up. So bring a line around the outside. Just keep doing little sort of semi curve, semi curves, going around like that. Do one big one for like a knuckle bit. Come down to the edge of the foot. Bring the little claw bit. A few little jaggedy bits going on the inside. Like that, and that's that one toe. Do the same for the second one on the inside, just keeping those little curvy bits, bring it around, a little sharp bit for a claw, circle, circle, jagged bits coming in, and then once more for this bit. Now, when you get to the top bit, the last toe. Go this bit in, a little bit there. Cover that bit, coming up, join in there. And uh, yeah, I'm not too happy with that first, you know, it's not as good as what I normally do. But yeah, you get the point. Do the same sort of thing on the you know, just next to it, but a little bit smaller and further up because of the curve of the body. Sorry about that, I'll show you a better foot in another video saying that it weren't as good as what I normally do. Ugh. That's what happens when you draw late at night. Ugh. Yeah. Just gonna rub out all that line work. Very important you rub the line work out before you get ready to shade and colour it. Unless you're colouring them with black, like, or shading black and white with pencil. Otherwise you can mess your colours up and leave annoying little lines underneath. Last bit of details.
So you can see that's the basic line work all done. And that, I'll put the uh, colouring into the next video. And that, so yeah, you'll see the link pop up here. Just click on this, that'll take you straight to the colouring video. Uh, yeah. Hope you're liking it so far. And I will see you for part two. Peace out.